Hello everybody and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. I'm on the stable branch and well I'm not living in the snow. As you can see I'm hurt. So I've dominated this little thing for now. I'm in the snow with a bunch of lumberjacks. My only only real good stroke of luck is this steel fire. Which is just gorgeous. As you can see, I have not finished my primary quest yet, so let's finish that up. So I can at least find out where the trader is. So he's outside of town this way. How bad is it? Okay, that's not so bad. I could probably move into one of the areas closer to him. Like, that's one of the construction sites. I could easily build that up a little bit. And I always turn this on so I know the radius of my base that they will not spawn in. What the frig? Oh, okay. He's inside that house. Let's run away from him for a minute. Because I am hurting. So the way I'm going to start this off is the typical minor 69er and, and mother load. Because i got to get it going. Pack mule because that's a me thing. We're also going to do living off the land. Because if I find anything I'm able to eat, even if it's not planted by me, I can still punch it for two things. So, you know, that's a bonus in my eyes. So if I come across any farms, I'm not going to feel bad about taking the crops now, because I'll get two per thing. Oh god. Snow biome. Cougars. I definitely need to get myself a hold of some armor, but before that... I need to get some clothing before my environmental protection runs out. Ah, oh, yes, I got honey. Love it. Always got to worry about the eggs. I guess the feathers, too, because I should use a bow and arrow early game to keep away from cougars. Right. Oh, for the love of! Okay, the trader is unlocked on my map. I'm not going to worry about going to him right now. Because it seems that no matter what way I go, those guys are around. So, I'm going to need some armor. God, why'd I decide to stay in the snow? Oh, shit. Oh, right, this POI. I actually like this POI. Like, it's really nicely set up. I mean, that floor is a collapsed floor. Easily repaired if you take out the sides of it. Honey. Um... When I was messing around on one of my just free maps that I wasn't recording on, I stumbled across this POI, so I already know how to get to the good loot. Oh, no books. 
There's not really any dressers in here. I'm going to have to go into a, well, more completed house. I'm just hoping I strike a little bit of gold up top. Not bad. Not horrible for down the road. At least I don't have to craft the lights. Okay, um... That's a bunker shed. I can't believe that worked. So for the messing around right now, I can't remember if I mentioned this. Sorry if I'm double saying stuff. I have my backpack on drop nothing. Simply for my first week since it's so easy to die. I'll take some snowberry plants. See, I got two from that. Mm. Iron. All right. Okay, that's a military camp over there. Crap. Think I just uh, had a small tingent of luck with that leopard. Or cougar. No, cougar. What am I thinking? Leopard. Oh yeah, fun pimps. Can you put a leopard into the game? I would absolutely love to have a leopard print rug. I... No, wait. I and C. Charcoal. That's an iron and charcoal vein together. I am s definitely gonna have that. That's a lot of crap I can explore off in the distance, man, I tell you. Oh, the spawn rate for these things. I'm not talking about the lumberjacks. I don't care so much about them. It's the, what, cougars, mountain lions... Whatever the devil. It is official. That's kind of weird. So I've had one cougar whose AI spared my life. Hey, wait a minute. No, cr no bullcrap? I think I know where I am on the map. This is the old map that I punched in Greenland for the seed. I was partially worried because of um, me spawning in the snow. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm going to stick with being in the snow. But I know there's a big city over there because that's where I lived and did my... failed attempt at a clever horde base. <laughs> Hello, Senor Trader. Yeah, I've got my graphics really low. Sorry. Well, the stable's kicking my butt. Dragged in. You better have coin. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I just got kicked out of the Duke's Palace. I don't have a lot. Generator bank, eh? I like the new symbol for that. That's, that's nice. Mm. Ooh. 
This is what I need. It's something for right now. I'm well, that's sorry. That's all you're gonna buy. I'll let you show yourself out. Excuse me. I've got a task for you. Let's get down to work. Then. Actually, before anything else. Nice. I'll take it. It's got better heat resistance than what I got, but it's got the same cold resistance, so I'm not losing. Nice. I'll put that medicine right on my belt. In fact, I'm going to suck down said medicine. Because my health was not looking good. Cardboard box. Say hello. Yeah, I'm... Best thing to do with any trader you get to go to... Loot them dry. They don't care. Oh, nice cooking pot. Acid. <sighs> now, if I'm lucky... That was actually really nice. If I'm lucky and his workbench, chem station, cement mixer, and whatnot are destroyed, I have been hearing from the Seven Days to Die community that I guess the broken version of the thing you go to should ha has a high chance of it actually having the schematic for same said workbench. Fred, stop beating on this place, please. Ugh. <sighs> Red. Ooh, a working chem station. Not bad at all. And this is a working stiffs box. You know what? I'll take it. Like, I'm gonna sell... I am not a big heavy armor fan. I don't know why. In most games I play, even Skyrim, I've never been a heavy armor fan. I pretty much enjoy my light armor. So I'm going to be hoping, anyways, that I'm able to make out with a... Well, before I have to restart again. With military gear. Okay, retrieve the supplies, and if I read that right, it's in a cemetery? So we might be going grave robbing, boys and girls. I had a gun, Boarface. If only I had a gun. Oh, well, I power attacked the butt of a deer and I killed it. I mean, that's a win to me. Look at all these snowberries. Ooh, iron ore in the middle of the snowberry. Oh, nice! <clears throat> if I find a working workbench, I might be able to make myself a table saw. I'm not complaining. Two cemeteries side by side. <laughs> Lovely. And that's the one I have to go... To. Okay. So before I activate it, I'm going to do the whole double loot thing. Hola! Senor! Madam!
Fall down, please. Yeah, don't take your tools for granted. Like, he was doing 29 before I took... Oh, he's still doing 29. But as you take the minor 69er perk, your tools actually deal more damage. There's a nurse down there. Oh, crap. Yeah, no, honey, we're not doing that today. suck that down right now. Okay, nothing in there. Can't see the food pile, because it's just not going to spot in. Rotten sandwich, I'll save that later. Nothing to break into there. I will be digging up the coffins. Don't everybody worry. Ooh. Didn't I have a football helmet? Look at that. Just look at that. Food pile again. Alright. Come on. My health is very weak. Because it's the first day, I'm doing horribly. Coffin. I'm not going to complain about the rifle rounds. Another paintbrush. I'm just going to scrap that. You know what? I'm not going to be painting for quite a while, so I'm going to scrap them both. You know, I'm just going to scrap that lead to make some room, because lead's easier to find than brass still. coffin. The amount of arrows I'm finding, I'm gonna have to invest in a bow again. Wouldn't mind a hunting rifle. Any of you guys that died a hunter? Yes, no, maybe so. Smell you later, alligator. I don't know. Purse, hello. Since I'm going to be uh, respawning this POI anyway. Just didn't want to wake up. Come here, nurse. Come on, sweetie. It's okay. I'm just gonna hurt you. Oh, hi. I'm just gonna hurt you a little bit. Hey, dude. I need some legal advice. Whoops. I didn't even get a glancing blow from that. Stand up and... Oh, crap. Oh, thank God he didn't aggro. Ooh! Oh, that's not too too, too bad. I, I, I can get behind that. Oh, why did I have to get that? That's going to help. <clears throat> I need a higher leveled helmet. Because the Skullcap mod will give me cold resist 11 when I attach it to anything. <sighs> Friggin' snowmen. Let's 
Small medical station, plastic, okay. What have we got in this? I'll take that. It's better than that. Scrap that. Really? Well, give me something nice and stiff. Yeah. Uh, I just don't care about the Nux. Right when I go to look. Bye. Okay. I'm just gonna go home and store my stuff. It's okay. Oh god, I'm so slow. Oh, I am so glad their AI isn't quite what it is that or somehow he just didn't see me. Snow biome, though, right? Oh, this is going to be nuts. Odds are I'm going to retrieve the item for the quest, get back home, fortify where I'm living. What the frig? Don't question it. Just move on. Go away, good sir. Go away. much for the rotten meat and the bones because one of the biggest things you just got to get going day one is at the very least get one if you can one farm plot and the reason I'm not cutting the reason I'm not cutting any of this out for my way home is because that's when I'm gonna end up dying you're gonna miss it won't be able to hit the record in time And I don't like doing that. I really, really don't. I would prefer people to see everything that I'm doing. And fair point, though, I am not good at editing. At all. No holds barred, I am not an editor. Are you, like... Stuck on the fence, dearie? Well, please run into my home. I'll love you for like ever. Die on those spikes across the street, I'll still love you. <sighs> home, sweet. Oh, it's not really home. Not right now, anyway. I'm gonna end up reinforcing it, because why the heck not, right? So I did gather some stuff before I... Oh, sorry. So I did gather some stuff before I started recording today. Oh, so I'll store that. I'm not using a bow. Alright, time to boogie. Too good to be true for her to be still stuck. Did I really not? Uh. Because I can. 
because the knife's animation is so fast. It's faster than punching. Use the knife right now. So what I'm going to do for this particular series of it being each day, my new season of Seven Days to Die, Alpha 18 Stable, aside from avoiding mountain lions, is I'm going to flat out record. Thank you. Something's weird with their AI. I'm not complaining, but something's weird. I'm going to showcase the bulk of the day. I'm not going to do the nighttime, because there's a good chance I'm going to be underground at night. And who wants to watch me just sit there smacking rocks? Like, I am probably going to start just a mine underneath my house to get a ton of stone. And then I'm also going to be, uh... Hmm. Not bad. And then I'm also going to be starting up mines all over the place, but I mean... All in all, I may move into a base under this garage and just have the upstairs as kind of a... staging ground. Here we go, it's reset. Just like last time. Smack all the zombies around. Nothing down there that time. Nope. Nope. Yep. Oh, there was a guy over here. Okay. Hi, buddy. How y'all doing? I love you, too. I'm actually surprised I did that so well. Senorita, level up, sees. Okay, um. Definitely gotta get Iron Gut. I do not want my crap to be running out on me really fast. It's just not good. Purse. More rifle bullets, oh my goodness. Nothing there today. Nothing there. Say hello. Another purse. Okay, ladies, do you carry a pistol in your purse anymore? Got a mountain lion pissed off at me. It's official. Yup. I'm dead. Which, if I'm not mistaken, means I failed the damn mission because of a mountain lion. Yeah. I failed the mission because of that stupid mountain lion. And that's why I have it on not dropping anything right now.
swear you just can't win for losing. Those are like stupid thin. Come on, thank you. for me. Sucks that I failed that mission. Though. But, what can you do, right? I mean, I got hit by a mountain lion. I don't really have any armor. Like, definitely massive looting is going to take precedence over anything else. I know, I know, you're just so upset. Yeah, stay in front of the angry one. Holy crap! Yeah, I growed a bit much. Stop running. Just stop. I've noticed it's random when their rage runs out. Oh, yes. Woohoo! You still pissy wissy with me? You still pissy wissy? Thank you. Lumberjack Killathon. Let's do I got iron outside my house. I like this. Come on, boy. Hey. Yeah, that's right. You fall down. And for what I heard in the update notes, I'm still getting raw iron and I'm unstable. People were saying that they're smacking iron ore veins and they're just getting scrap iron. Don't get me wrong, I could care less either way. Iron's iron. Just give me my iron, damn it. But, yeah. So I've got an iron vein outside my house. That's nice. The only thing that's a real pain right now is the fact that I've got mountain lions galore. Oh, and for anybody that watches my videos, I found out which weapon I want to use for my melee weapon. It is the stun baton. On my other maps that I'm just messing around on, trying other things, exploring to see if I like that map or not, so I can share it with the community. Is, um... Yeah, I've been messing with all of the melee weapons, and I gotta say, the stun baton feels right for me. I can see how some people wouldn't like it. Like, easy enough. It is a little bit testy to use. But what I do like about it is if you have a couple of stun batons on your belt, and you charge one up for a paralyzing strike, you can easily switch to the other stun baton and get it set up as well. That way you've already got you've always got one ready for a paralyzing strike. At least that's what I'm going to call it. And Okay. So snowberries can I still make the snowberry smoothie or whatever? 
Do I have to actually look in my campfire? So, what's the point in snowberries anymore if I can't make a snowberry smoothie? <coughs> or is there a recipe you're able to find? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. But yeah, what I'm going to do tomorrow, as far as episodes go, I'm going to probably jump inside of here. Loot all those rooms. Go inside the motel as well. Because, well, I need clothing. If I level up too much, I'm going to be out of clothes. Get a bunch of wood now so I can at least reinforce the outside of my living space. I can get a mine going the way I like to get a mine going. Those lockpicks were a nice find. These cars were definitely ransacked. And let's go this way a little bit. Okay, got some lead over here. Just get the lead out! <laughs> eh, bad jokes. Love them. Hm. Smeltable or scrappable. You're lucky I'm slow there, rabbit. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, love the wrench. You know, I think my absolute favorite part... There is a lumberjack stuck in midair. So Thumper Jack stuck in midair. Okay, he's not in midair anymore. He was just spawning in. Oh, I'll leave it to me to find that weird stuff. All right. Well, hello. I've already killed several of your lumberjack friends. Whoa. Okay, how am I not hitting him? Like, damn it. It's got plenty of glue for duct tape. A decent amount of leather. I just can't make any... What do I need in order to craft leather? I need to know this. Is it light armor? Thank you. I should prioritize light armor simply because of moving quickly. But for right now, I am prioritizing getting my place set up in a decent way.
Has anybody else found this a little weird that you actually require the full door to upgrade to the next level of door? To me, that seems a little dumb. Bam. All right. Really, I never searched this. For small fry things, I should probably shouldn't use. I had to be sure. Does anyone know? Can you actually get a tire back from this? Like, I am legit curious. I knew I wasn't going to blow myself up. I'd actually done it in my uh, fun map that I'm playing that I called Wasteland. But I haven't actually found much as far as Wasteland goes in it. So it's kind of a funny play on words. And I took over a military camp. Yeah, the, mili the big military truck that you find in the front of their base by a watchtower. If you place your land claim block with one gap between it and the land claim block, you can actually have the entire military camp encompassed in your radius so they can't actually spawn inside. So, fun fact. <laughs> oh, I'm a little hungry. Just a little hungry. Get my ranch out home. Well, actually... Upgrade this a little bit further. I used all ten on it. <laughs> oh god, that is going to take a while. I do not feel like doing that. Uh, anything else around the perimeter of my house? Yes, indeed there was. A little bit of cloth. It's not too bad. My good water's in my chest. I'll worry about that in a minute. Just the stuff here in the corner. I wonder if you can actually get a tire from those. I doubt it. Tires are easy enough to make, so I don't think the pimps would be bad. But we are coming up on 2100 hours. I have recorded long enough for this episode. You'll be seeing my entire days. So you're going to get used to my ugly mug. Well, I don't do webcam stuff, so... You're going to have to get used to just my voice. But, I don't know what I'm going to do as far as Horde Night goes. I do have it starting on day 7. And then I gave it a 7 day range, so it may not happen when you think. I'm probably going to build my old Horde base. Now, when I say my old Horde base... I mean the one that's a cube, with bars, to make life easy on myself. I don't know. Is it concrete in here? It is too sweet. Okay, I'll probably build my mine... Which wood... Oh, wow. You actually got a decent amount of wood for these lumber piles. I'm used to the old uh, alpha where these just didn't give you much at all. I gotta say, I kind of like that. 
My guy is thirsty. I'm going to start focusing on making a mine and digging out towards that iron because mining is still one of the best ways you can get experience. And the other way you can get experience in a very, very decent amount is simply by upgrading. So make yourself a lot of cobblestone and then start with wood, upgrade the wood, make it into cobblestone and that gives you a decent amount of experience. You go concrete from there and it gets even better than that. So that's how you should be upgrading for experience. You can shoot your level up really quick, get those levels in that you need. Um, well, I'll see you all later everybody. Good luck on your seven days to dies. Um, if you want to join me, like I said, my map is called Greenland. That's what I'm playing on right now. And my coordinates in this world currently are now at the top of the screen. So if you want to join me on this map, feel free to create it yourself in the seed generator and come here. You can live with me, so to speak. And then you can also tell me of some neat locations nearby if you find any. And, well... That's all for now. Catch you later. Bye!